do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray together. Dear Lord, we thank you for this privilege of being for us to gather here this afternoon. We thank you, Father, for bringing our brothers and sisters from far and wide. We thank you, King of Glory, for joining mercies. Thank you for bringing our phone here. We are so excited about his presence in our midst in the Yaoundé community today. Dear Lord, we want to seize this opportunity to pray for him. We pray, Father, that you bless him. In the same way you bless, you bless Abraham, that you bless him and that you make him a blessing to the nation, not just to Obu, but the rest of the nations. We pray, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that you give him unprecedented Father wisdom, even as he leads your people. That you will strengthen him, Lord Jesus, that you will protect him against the forces of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that you put around him men and women who will give him godly counsels, counsels that will lead the people of Oku to, uh, to, the, to, to a new dawn, that will lead the people of Oku to a new dawn of revival and prosperity. Father, we thank you. We just pray, Papa, that you strengthen him, that you be with him, King of kings and Lord of lords, and that you lead him all the days of his life. We pray, Papa, that prosperity will be his portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That because of his reign, there will be peace. Because of his reign, there will be unity in the land of Oku. We just want to pray, King of glory, even for the occasion today. We pray, Father, that you be at the center of what is going to be happening here. We pray, Papa, that you take absolute and total control of this great celebration. That you will lead us, King of kings and Lord of lords. That your name alone shall be lifted up. You said if you are lifted up, many shall be pulled unto you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We therefore pray, Papa, that you be lifted up in all that is going to be happening here. We pray, Papa, that you will lead us. Papa, in the same way you brought us here, that at the end of the equation, we'll find many reasons to give glory to your name. Because you take us back safely. We thank you, Papa, and we pray these prayers in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 of silence for our dead brothers. We know we are from the crisis zone. A moment of silence for families that have believed, even at this moment we are gathered here, to ask God to take control of them and to give them peace. In the same spirit as the pastor has prayed, that the will of God be done in the whole of the division. That the funds of Bui, through the visit of the Israel High School, the fund of Oku in Yaoundé, they may have a reunion. As our leaders move together, so the Bui community will also move together. That peace will reign in their own tenor. As we commit ourselves here, those who are supposed to be here and are being held by one reason or another, that the will of God be done in our lives and that God will take us safely to our various destination. All the tribes that have come to honor this day, all the villages from Northwest as a whole, that God will reward each and every one of us in accordance with his riches in glory. Father, we thank you for this day and we commit everyone into your hands that you seal us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.